starts now. From New Orleans, chess blocks from Bourbon Street. The Knicks taking on the Pelicans. For the Knicks, they've yet to find that spark this season. Off to a slow start. They're hoping to make adjustments and get it cooking tonight. Pelicans, Knicks is coming up next. And we'll be one. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. Our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. Brandon Ingram is an all-star talent, but then again, this is what he expected would happen. Pair Graham and Alexander Walker. The talented front court pair is Ingram and Williamson. And it's Valanciunas in at the center position. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. Now the pass to Barrett. Outside Rose passes to Randall. Julius Randall. The strength and the quickness and now the confidence coming along as Randall's able to score. For the Knicks, MV comes in for Fournier. And it's Kimball Walker in for Derrick Rose. At the line for one. And Kevin, one thing you have to respect about Derrick Rose is that he's never stopped evolving. He's constantly adapting his game to best fit what his team needs. Allen Jr. trying to free himself up. Pelicans keep it alive. Williamson with the bucket. You just love it when you can pick up those extra possessions, and Zion's the guy you want doing that. Pass to Barrett. He's looking for MP and finds him. Never and it's ever. good. Two points. When you think about how Derrick Rose has changed, Greg, as a player, you see some of that in almost every facet of his game. And yeah, over the years, he's tuned his shooting and play style in lots of little ways. But what hasn't changed is his talent for setting guys up. He's got a great eye for when and where to drop the dime. MP with it, now guarded by Ingram. Here's Robinson. Trying to get open is Randall. Robinson misses. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now, here's MP. Master Robinson. And the layup falls. Mitchell Robinson. Robinson's got six points. Gets one to fall, but only a second make in the first seven attempts. 58 seconds left in the first quarter. Barrett against Ingram. The Knicks pull it in. And going against New Orleans, their first meeting of the year. You know, some teams just have your number. And that was the case between these two last season. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off just sensational stuff. And there's the pass to Alexander Walker. Williamson against Randall. Williamson double team. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. So here is New Orleans. Down to five on the shot clock. Good on the bucket. Alan Jones has got his second basket of the night. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. This is a 2MP. He kicks it to Randall. Lays it up off the glass. He's got six. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. No good on the last second attempt there. Brandon Ingram, he's been the guy making things happen for the New Orleans Pelicans. He was a true standout at the offensive end, both with his scoring and his passing. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And the former league MVP, Derrick Rose, now the Sage veteran, helping set the tone for this team. We know what we have to 
do and we know when we get out there that it's one goal and that's to go out there and win the game by any Checking in with We're going with a whole new group out there. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair. Derrick Rose is out there with MP. And it's Barrett at the three. Now here's Valanciunas over Barrett. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. And so Graham will bring it up for the Pelican. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. Valanciunas, good. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. Here's MP after the made shot from Jonas Valanciunas and stolen by Graham. And now the Pelicans on the break over Rose. He goes up again. Robinson with the block. Now the seven foot four wingspan of Robinson going to work on that shot swatted away. MP no good. Pelicans leading by 12. Williamson outside. Graham surveying the floor. Robinson with the block. And he gets it back. Here's Alexander Walker. And a miss there on the triple. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Now, here's MP. Robinson, that's good. And this is where Robinson will do damage. He's got the height. He's got the length. And when he's inside, he's going to capitalize. Going inside, Williamson. And there's the big-time jam as he slams it right over Randall. Yeah, so fun to watch him get fancy on any finish. Zion again to the rack. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. You take your time. You don't give them another possession. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Yeah, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Puts up a three, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You look at Willie Hernan Gomez. What a contribution. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking Some interesting family history here. Your dad, Rick, brother, John, and you all ended your careers playing for the Houston Rockets. The next time, Kevin, that you and I are broadcasting a game in Houston, I'll walk you across the street to the Berry Cemetery, and we'll take a look at the headstone. Pretty early to be over the limit. That foul situation is something we want to keep an eye on. For New Orleans, they have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. One place we've really gotten used to seeing Josh Hart make an impact is on the glass. You know what's huge about that, Kevin, is a guard willing to go in and get rebounds just ignites the fast break. I know there are big guys that bust out, but when a guard does it, he gets up to speed and is surveying the floor, and that's where Josh Hart becomes one of those guys that has tremendous value just starting your fast break. Yeah, the way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Knicks shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. And with so many entertainment options these days, Brent, the NBA not shy innovating to attract and retain viewers. Where do you sit with that? Keep it the same or, or be creative? Well, I think the league does a great job of being creative. And I think that 
Adam Silver does a, a really good job of not just being a leader, but being a listener. And there's tremendous participation between the Players Association and the commissioner and the ownership group to continue to press the way that the game is played, try to innovate in the way that the game is broadcast, and uh, it'll continue to do those sort of things to draw in uh, the fans that, that love this game and are invited to that kind of competition. Good on both. And Hart, the last pick of the first round in that 2017 draft. And not sure why so many teams passed on this talented young man, but boy, he is terrific. Quickly the pass to Noel. He dishes it to MP. Six to shoot. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Hernan Gomez passes to Temple. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Temple's got the lead up to 13 now for the Pelicans. MP outside. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Hayes. New Orleans has gone three or five with the long ball since entering the second half. From the strike, here's Hart. Pass to Temple. Back to Hart. They double him with MP. And Hayes kicks to Temple. Connects from three-point range. Temple's got five points now this quarter. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. In the corner, it's Ingram. Tipped away. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. In the forward positions, Barrett and Randall. MP is out there with Emmanuel Quicker. And it's Choppin in at the five, roaming the paint. Alexander Walker passes to Ingram. Offensive rebound. Valanciunas and another make to his scoring cup. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting 5 of 11. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. You wonder if the coaching staff is encouraging these kind of nights and aggressive play for Randall to take over. And the foul call. Time All Star last season, Julius Randle was just flat out awesome. At the line for one. Thirty six seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Left side, Gibson. On the wing, MP. Graham defending. Back to Gibson. Some nice passing by New York here. Shot clock at five. And here's MP for three. It's rebounded by Hayes. Now, Hart. So we see New Orleans taking the W here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. Tonight. 
And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Oh, there he is. How you doing, Mr. The Lester? king of all social media. Oh, here you go. You must think you're pretty slick with the little stunt you pulled. I'm just doing what it takes to get what I deserve. Mm -hmm. And if you alienate your coach and your GM and your teammates, then so be it. As long as MP gets what he deserves. Oh, come on. You and I both know I deserve to start. Look, coach isn't giving me a fair shot because all he thinks I care about is my YouTube channel. I, Look, I'm not a joke. I, I, I don't want to talk about your YouTube channel. I went to bat for you in the draft. It is all over the news. But when I went to ownership Hold to talk ownership. about this. Yeah. When ownership asked me why you weren't starting, I told them the truth. You're a project. You're not ready. Not even close. All you did by going to social was prove to coach what he thinks he already knows about you, which is you're all drama. You're all show. Listen, long term, I believe in you. But this was a huge misstep. There's no other way of putting that. You're going to have to work really hard to get back into good graces with this organization. You understand? Understood. All right, I'm done.